everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm the human behind Tiny Little Laces. My name is Saren and today I have a March plant haul for you. I had five new plants this month. Uh, they're all behind me on this table here. And I'm also gonna be taking you through some of the seeds that I bought, which is very exciting. start with the smallest ones and work up to the biggest plants. So my first plant that I got is my Hawothia cooperii. I think it's a Hawothia. Let's have a look. Ha -o 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 -thea cooperii. Yeah. Hawothia cooperii. It's quite a fun plant. I've wanted one of these for a very long time. I'm really bad with succulents, so this guy will probably die, but I'm going to do my best to not let it die because um, my partner loves this one as well. I just love how it looks like, it looks like a sweet at the end of it, like a little gummy sweet. And they're so squishy and so fun. So yeah, this one's actually got a few pups growing on the sides, all along the outside. And yeah. That's number one. My next plant that is looking a little bit crispy, I might have to raise the humidity, which is quite funny because this is a native um, native plant to where we're from. It is ivy. I absolutely love ivy. Um, and I've wanted a variegated one for a while because my friend Ava got one of these as a plant cutting. I think she took it from a park and I've wanted one for so long and I've just kept my eyes out. And I found one at Dobby's, which is super, super, super exciting. It actually needs a little water, um, but the variegation on this one is really nice and it's growing absolutely rapidly, which is also really nice to see. So this next one, I was nervous about getting uh, because I'm not great with peperomia either, I will be honest. And there's actually some broken leaves in this pot. But I love this one. I've wanted this one for quite a while. This is a Peperomia caparato rosso. I think it needs a water because the leaves are getting a bit squishy and, and they're not as hard as they were. But this one is actually flowering, which is really, really nice. The backs are like a bright red and the fronts are like that kind of emerald, like jade green. Super, super dark and so vibrant on the inside. And yeah, as you can see, there's quite a few flower buds on this one. <laughs> so I also got this from Dobby's and it was seven pound. I can't remember how much the ivy was, but the Hawothia was 650. So it's good prices. I love this guy. Hopefully I can keep it alive. <laughs> Next I have this guy. I don't know what kind it is but it is a syngonium it's quite a full pot so let me see if it says in here um no it just says foliage mix and this was 13 pound with pop though and i just think it's really really beautiful like what a full pot my uh syngonium red heart does not look this healthy I um, might need to repot it just so I get a lovely full plant like this. It's absolutely beautiful. And there's quite a lot of new growth coming in underneath there, which is really, really exciting to see. It's just beautifully, beautifully variegated, this one. So that's number four. And then we have the big boy, which I'm going to try and grab from down here. Da, 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 da. It is my Philodendron Imperial Green. I also got this guy from Dobby's. It was, I think, £30. Yeah, £30. And so far, it's given me this new leaf here, this beautiful new green one. It's throwing out a new leaf here, which is just unbelievable. I can't believe it's already pushing out a new one. This one only came out last week. And there's a new leaf growing in here. I'm not sure what's going on with it. It hasn't quite pushed itself out. But I got two plants in one. So 
I'm not going to complain. I was going to get the Imperial Red that they had, but um, it was a bit damaged. Like, we do have a damaged leaf on this one, I won't lie to you. I think this is probably cold damage because I did check for pests when I brought it home and there was nothing on it then. And there's nothing on it now. So I think it's just cold damage and where some of the leaves got a bit cut up. But all in all, a really, really healthy plant. The soil is nice and chunky and airy, so I'm not worried about that at all. And yeah, it's living where my ficus benjamina was, as you can probably tell. I don't have it here next to the seti anymore. I think there's a fungus gnat somewhere in here. So yeah, my ficus benjamina is the other side of the room. It's starting to drop leaves again and I'm just not sure what it needs. I'm not sure if the soil needs changing or whether it needs maybe some fertilizer or whether maybe I'm just not watering it enough. But I'm gonna cycle through these problems and see what I can do for it. Fingers crossed I can get it to look healthy again. <laughs> Um, cause it's lost quite a few leaves and I don't, I don't want it to die because it's a seven year old plant and that would be such a shame. Okay. So that is my five plants. <laughs> I'm going to go through the seed packets that I bought as well. Uh, it won't take me long. So if you are not interested in seeds, don't worry. You don't have to watch on. Um, the exciting stuff for you is probably all done, but these I find really, really exciting. Some of these I've never had before, and I can't wait to see how they grow. So, oh, there is a fungus gnat. Go away. Go. Shoot. Okay. Okay, so the first seeds we got are edible flowers. We got these from a magazine. It was a gardening magazine. Karen quite enjoys them at the moment because we are actually having the garden done uh, where we're staying. So we are all about gardening at the moment. These are calendula crown orange seeds. So I think this is actually what they're going to look like when they're ready to go. And it would be nice, maybe I'll do some bacon and add these on top. So seed packet number one. We have some mustard red lace. And these are just microgreens. We wanted to maybe do some salads. So these are perfect. We will probably sow these all pretty soon because I believe that you can sow yeah you can sow microgreens inside all year so we'll definitely be doing those soon we also have some mustard wasabina um also a microgreen I think that these are going to be really really yummy with a nice little spice to them so these are our microgreens I really want to get into more microgreens so that's a good start I have some ficus benjamina seeds. Um, <laughs> not because I think that that one's sighing, I think it'll be fine. I actually have a smaller one as you saw in my plant tour. But I thought, you know what? I wanna see how many weeping figs I can get and get to be healthy. Cause I find them quite difficult and it would be really interesting to see how well these do. It's they sound like really small seeds as well, so. But I can sow these all year round, which is really exciting too. Next up is also a plant that uh, my good friend Ava actually got a cutting from. I think she also got these ones from just a park. Um, but it is a passion flower. I've really wanted these for a very long time. Uh, when we lived in, in London, uh, there were quite a few houses that had them growing up and I just think that they're so beautiful so so beautiful they look like little alien discs um as you can see on the cover here like that is just the craziest thing like that doesn't belong on the earth <laughs> how cool this one is also very exciting so these next three are my most exciting plants um this is Arabian coffee can't wait to see if these grow i can actually sow them all year round as well so i'm definitely going to do that soon um i'm not expecting to get actually any coffee from this aunt or for the coffee to be good but i do think that they're really beautiful plants like they remind me a lot of peace lilies and uh we all know that i am a sucker for a peace lily so 
Arabian coffee. Next up, uh, I've realized how many of these I've got because Ava has them. Uh, but we have Lithops, which is super, super, super exciting. A lot of people don't like Lithops because they look like little alien butts. They look like just something that, although plants are alive, they look a little too animalistic. But I think they're so cool. And I think it's such a fun way to get Lithops this way because you don't know what colors you're gonna get. So I'm hoping I get a really funky color, like maybe a yellow or a green, or maybe like a dappled pink. Oh, I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see. And I'm really interested to see actually how many Lithops I can get from a seed kit like this. So I'll definitely be potting these up because they're houseplant ones, so I can plant them whenever I want. And finally, my last seed packet, I have Mimosa pudica, the sensitive plant. I've seen these everywhere for such a long time. They had some in the um, the water lily greenhouse in Kew Gardens, and I just absolutely love them. I just think that they're so interesting. I know that you shouldn't um, provoke their leaves to, to close because it takes a lot of energy from the plant, but I just think that they look so fragile and delicate. I just think they're really, really cool. And it feels like we have quite a few seeds in here. So I'm gonna have a plant day today. I'm going to actually cut the Amazonii that I have growing in the living room. I'm going to cut it up and propagate it because the top leaves aren't doing so well. And I really don't want that plant to die. So I'm gonna be chopping that up, looking after my Benjamina, checking on the rest of the plants and seeing if they're okay. I might get some new soiling and soiling and do some repotting because uh, the soil that I've actually got some of the plants in, I don't think it's good enough because it doesn't seem to retain enough water. It's it's letting go of it, which is a great thing. You don't want your plant to be you don't want your plant to be swimming in water, but you also really don't want it to be just drying out every day um, because I don't have time, especially with bump on the way. I don't have time to be watering my my plants every day. So yeah, enough of a heavy chat. That is my seeds. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seeds. And five beautiful plants. Um, that's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. I post videos every Thursday. This one might be going out a little late um, due to me having a job interview earlier this week. and. Easter break being a thing. We had a four day weekend, so being pregnant, I took advantage of that with the family. So that is why this one may be a little late. I would have put it in the community tab, but you need a thousand subscribers to be able to have a community tab. So that is why there was no warning. So yeah, any updates, follow me over on Instagram and you will get them straight away on my stories. If you do want to leave a comment on this video and start up a little conversation, I would be more than happy to have a chat. So please go ahead if you feel comfortable to do so. And a like will always go a long way. So that is all from me today. Um, I've realized that I'm almost up to 40 subscribers on this YouTube, which makes me incredibly happy and so, so grateful. Uh, I started this only a few weeks ago and it's so great to almost have 40 of you already. Like what a wonderful, wonderful thing. So. I will be going and yes I'll see you next week Thursday 6 p.m. I'm gonna have some of these videos ready to go so that if I do have a week like this week and I haven't had time to post content that I've definitely got something to go up for you guys so I don't let you down next week <laughs> hope you have a great weekend guys and I will see you next week bye